hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i'm actually just sitting here you know waiting because i'm about to go out and i have a little time on my hands and i thought you know i kept seeing some comments on some people reaching out about my video about utica college um and one comment stood out to me about the psychology child life program which i was planning to make this video anyway so i thought why not just do it right now um so yes this video is going to be about the psychology child life program at utica college um that was actually the degree that i got while i was there um so a little bit about what the program is So just to talk about a little bit about what this program is, I have my little iPad here and I looked up the exact description for Utica College. So it says the program is designed for individuals who wish to enhance their understanding of children and families. So the major features interdisciplinary approach drawing from fields of psychology, early childhood education, sociology and anthropology. They have faculty and staff that are in this field from a variety of different fields within that area. and students are able to gain on hand in-person experience in working with children and adolescents of different ages so for the program um you have to have a grade of c or better in all of the courses in order to be able to graduate there's a lot of applying theory there's research um a lot of different assignments that basically allow you to really apply what you learn in the classroom and you apply it in your fieldwork experience and your work would reflect that there are a lot of fieldwork hours required for this program so there are a variety of classes that do require 20 hours and then at the end you would have to complete a semester worth of internship of 150 hours for a course which is great great experience to just be able to get experience and apply what you learn in the classroom and all throughout the years into your final internship helps with networking you're able to make connections meet people and it just helps to make your resume look so much better there are a lot of courses that are taught in this program honestly some are hard some are fairly easy if you for focus um you have courses that range from a variety of different things and being that the school does have like a general core requirement being that it's liberal arts you're able to just connect other different classes to be able to gain this which is why i was a sociology minor um so a lot of the different classes for example that you would take i'm gonna link where you can see the program details which i also have right here so just examples of different classes are like adolescence infancy and childhood um childhood disorders family stress and coping the helping relationship death dying and bereavement play development for birth through age eight and age eight through 21 early intervention children's literature childhood services just everything like that um so there are a variety of courses available and i just i loved my program so so much so i do want to talk about some of my recommendations and some of the courses that i just enjoyed taking that i highly 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 recommend um first being children's lit i love that class i believe it is edu 314 i absolutely love that class um you get to learn so much about children's literature and how you're able to use literature to help a child's development to help them in different scenarios in terms of understanding things coping with things and things like that so for example like maybe utilizing a book for when a child is understanding trying to understand their child their parents divorce um there are a lot of books that cover a lot of different topics and of uh, reading a book to a child can help them to break down certain situations and help them understand understand what the situation is at an age appropriate length um so I just I really love that course and being able to just understand how powerful literature is is like beyond me 
um and something i really love too is that in the course at least from what my professor did it was understanding all the different fields we all were interested in because there was a large variety in the classroom and she helped us to understand how each of us could apply literature into our field of interest whether it's teachers um social workers another course that i really really enjoyed and it was actually the funnest courses were the play class which is the play one aged age birth through eight and then play two which is age eight to 21 you're probably wondering like play what do you mean teenagers play that's what i liked about the class because play can literally go for people of all ages and it breaks down how play could be utilized in different environments and how play changes over the years for everyone so how play is for babies uh toddlers children adolescents and just adults and how that changes over time um because play definitely has a definition that changes based on age and development um and that course really goes into depth with that i love that when we would have our presentations we all would have some type of activity or something that we would allow the class to like do so we would spend like two to three class periods literally just having people present and you're doing so many fun activities and class is just so much fun it's literally like the best hour of your life like literally that those are the classes that literally i would never hesitate to go because i would i would always have so much fun with my classmates it was fun seeing all the activities that people came up with and brought to class and just you know everyone being able to have a good time and kind of feel like a kid again because depending on which class you're in like some of these activities could be like wow like this is crazy but they're really fun i've had people do like slime and um could make messing with colors when using like um shaving cream and stuff with balloons and making stress balls and it's just so much fun um another class that i really liked was death dying and bereavement um i took this with professor robert and he is just amazing i really love this class because especially when thinking of my culture and where i come from this is a topic that people don't really like to talk about when it comes to death um so it's not my area of expertise especially when thinking like i don't have too much experience with that in my personal life um and this course really just helps to understand death more in depth um how people cope like the whole process in terms of you know coping and going through what it's like to lose someone um like the after process just everything in general and i love that it's focused with children so we're able to understand how we can support children when the death happens how to explain it to them how to find different resources to help them you know gain something positive and do things that are memorable and them being able to just process everything that is going on on a healthy level and a level that makes sense for their age group um, I think this class really, really helped me and not just as an individual myself, but just thinking about, you know, when I have children or if I'm working with children, um, how I'm able to address those situations surrounding that. Um, another class that I really, really loved was family stress and coping. Um, I think that this class just covers a lot in terms of the family dynamic and it's just one of the most interesting classes that I've taken thus far. Um, I took this in a lecture, a three hour lecture, and literally the lecture to me just didn't feel like enough time. Just being able to understand like what these family scenarios look like, situations that can be dealt with. Um, learning about topics that I didn't really know about such as adoption and things like that so this is just a really good class because it covers so many topics and the professor the way she engages the class was just very very interesting um and it's definitely like one of the classes I highly highly recommend next is infancy and childhood I really really love this one I feel like this is one of the classes that really stuck to me the most um it helped me to just be more confident with children and babies and in general um I was able to learn so much about them and learning how you know their development works how they think how they see the world and being able to get field work experience with this class i was able to just really practice what i was learning in the classroom with children and literally i remember being just so scared because you know children make me nervous like you know you never know what to expect with them and this class just really allowed to provide the basis to my comfort and just being able to get out of my comfort zone and do different things that this was one of the first classes that i took and then last but not least is adolescence also one of my favorites because it talks about like puberty and 
you know, sex and, you know, stuff that teenagers go through, their body changes, their development, how their mind starts to change and the things that they go through. And it's just super, super interesting being that, you know, people come into college, you know, 18, 17, and, you know, they could still be going through these things in the adolescence era. And just being able to understand more about you know, being an adolescent and, you know, just coming out, like being a young adult and being able to reflect on my experience and better understand certain things that I went through. And it was just like a really fascinating class and really, really fun. Um, the teacher does a lot of fun activities, which I don't want to throw it out there um, because if you do take it, you got to find out for yourself what the activity is or else it's not going to be any fun. But it is super, super fun and super, super interesting. And I just, I 110% recommend this course. It is not hard at all. It's just very, very interesting. And the test, as long as you study, it'll be fine. But it's just really, really dope. Like, I love it. If you want to have some good laughs and, you know, kiki ha a little bit, this is the class because literally she makes every single class fun. For this program, as I mentioned, there are a lot of classes that require a practicum. For example, the play classes require the practicum, which is also known as field work. So each of them do require 20 hours and working with the age group that the class is for. You will also need to do a practicum for your final internship, which is the 150 hours. For this program, there are approximately like five classes, I believe, that you would have to take um, field work hours. And those classes that I remember off the top of my head are each of the play classes for the age group intended. So play one, play two, infancy and childhood, adolescents, individuals with disabilities, your final internship as well. And I believe those are the only ones that require the hours. Um, for children's literature, that would only apply if you're going down the education route. Um, but if you do not declare the education route, I do not think that you will have to do the hours. I didn't have to do the hours. So that would just be something to know if you are planning to do the educational track, then you would be doing that. Um, and of course, there's other courses that you would take outside of the program um, just to fulfill general core and they're like electives. Um, for example, being like the families of sociology course, I took that course, super nice an expansion on learning about the different dynamics of families and what families look like. I definitely recommend that one. I see that they added the introduction to child life specialty that is a new course i did not have that but that'll be something that you have to take and then of course your practicum um which is at the end when you finish and then you would have to pick between other courses two classes um i took anthropology 415 which is cultures health and healing i really really enjoyed anthropology courses so i definitely recommend that one and then the other courses i've never taken um, so I did the social services track and again the link will be down so you can see there's the child life specialist track and then the social services and then you do have the option of adding education to your route. Um, so for the required courses you have the options of doing social problems, the family and family violence. Um, so all of these just focus on like social issues, the family dynamics, what those family dynamics look like, and just violence in general. But family violence is a new one. Um, I did not have the option of taking that one and that actually sounds very, very interesting. Um, I think it's very important to understand violence and how it can affect everyone um, outside of just partner violence. Um, so that actually sounds really interesting. Um, and then you will have to pick between two additional classes. So we have race and ethnicity, social deviance, positive psychology, abnormal psychology, and intercultural communication. I took race and ethnicity. It was a very good course. Um, really good readings. It was writing intensive. You do need a writing intensive um, in order to graduate. Um, so I recommend, you know, killing two stones in one and doing something that tackles your major and the general core requirement. And... I took other because I was a sociology minor. A lot of the classes were eligible to substitute some of these requirements if they're similar to what they cover. Um, so that's something that y'all can speak about with y'all advisor, but that was something that I was able to do. Um, so I took different courses in this because I had so many sociology courses that fulfilled the credits. Um, 
but yeah so your core it's 34 to 55 credits depending major course requirements is 51 credits major elective is 15 and then you have your electives um so in total you would have 120 credits in order to graduate from Utica college um like i said there are a lot of dope courses to choose from um of course if y'all have any questions about a course a professor um or anything like that definitely feel free to reach out i would love to chat and recommend professors recommend courses just any advice that y'all need um i'm definitely here there's just so much about this program that i love um, I just always recommend, you know, talking with your advisor, whoever your advisor may be, take advantage of your advising sessions just to talk about what your goals are, um, thinking about the courses that are offered and what can meet those requirements. So you can find courses that you actually enjoy because a lot of times there is a requirement that needs to be fulfilled, but there are a lot of options to fulfill it. So ultimately you want to choose a course that will not only benefit your career, but also catches your attention and interests you that could possibly be you know thinking about a minor that connects with the major or something like that um so definitely just look into all your options then of course internship and volunteer opportunities there's a lot of opportunities in the area so for internship and volunteer opportunities um i did junior junction for my childhood and infancy um that was my first field work opportunity and that was really really fun then i did underground cafe and that's where i did adolescence class and play two because i took it the same semester so i was able to volunteer there for both of those classes obviously 20 hours each so i had to do 40 hours for the semester and then lastly but not least i did um the mohawk valley community action agency which is also known as the mvcaa and i did my 150 hour internship there and i did my play one in there as well um working with children two to four in the classroom and that was my absolute favorite place um even after i finished my hours in the spring of my last semester before covid hit i was still going at least once or twice a week just to volunteer and get experience i love this so much i love the kids i love the classroom love the teachers like the environment was phenomenal and you know being a person that doesn't have like a uh, a car or a license or anything like that um this was walking distance which was super clutch um junior junction underground cafe i did have to pay my cabs there and that was tough um but mbcaa i was blessed that you know it was walking distance i could walk there every day um and yeah my kids parents were really nice i was blessed that you know one of the parents um she used to drop me off at home um which was really really convenient for me it helped me save money um they're just so supportive it's so family oriented and you know being with these kids every day you make connections with their parents the teachers them themselves and you know they just become so nice so i really really appreciated her doing that um but yeah there's definitely a lot of opportunities everywhere and obviously depending on what you want to do you find those opportunities whether you want to be in a school after school program um depending what age group you're working with like there's definitely a lot of opportunities you just got to go out and look for them um overall what i learned a lot of stuff that i learned i feel like helped me as a person like personally i'm um, being able to just learn about children um from birth all the way up until 21 i was able to think a lot about myself learn about myself learn about other kids um understanding them from what they're thinking to what they like and what stage in the development they could be at um being able to learn how to support kids with disabilities was so amazing that was something i did not have a lot of experience with and i was definitely able to gain when i took the individuals with disability course um and it's also just very important you know to recognize the language you're using and things like that and that course really really helped me with that um and also it just really helped me to just understand people more um especially when thinking about how they grew up and how that can affect their development as an adult um so yeah i was able to just learn a lot and i just i love this major so much um i feel like even though now i am in the higher education track this provided the basis to really be able to understand where people um how they become who they become like the things they went through their development how it has progressed how things they may have gone through affect them now and just 
for me to be able to help them as an adult and being able to you know become better individuals and being able to pursue their goals and their dreams in the higher education setting so regardless of what track you feel like going to i feel like this major just can fit into anything which i really really love um i highly highly recommend it i really loved it i enjoyed all years of being in this program and i would not go i would not change it if I went back in time, I would do it all over again because the experience and the people that I've met and the, just everything was 100% worth it. So if you're thinking about pursuing this, then Utica College is definitely the place to pursue it. Um, definitely get ready for a lot of reading, a lot of field work, but it's going to be worth it. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I love talking about this program um, and we could chat all day. We could chat all day. So let me know if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's in the comments or if you want to email me or hit me up on social media, I'm 100% open to that. So if you're going to be in this program, good luck. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. And I hope you find and do whatever it is that you want to do utilizing this program. And yeah, I will see y'all in another video. And if you want more videos about college related stuff, let me know. I don't mind chatting about college, you know, alumni, <laughs> but yeah, so see y'all next time.